Faces at a Funeral Beautiful, a mural of sorrow, vignettes of reflection, bringing time to a stop for a day. Thinking of Maribel when she was alive, a gray-haired, dignified lady who knew how to touch you, the delicate necklaces she wore, her laughter, her soft-spoken advice, her impatience at times. Moist eyes, over glasses lowered on the nose, looking down, feeling the weight of time that day. So fast, why only yesterday I was a child and she was my Sunday school teacher. So fast, how much more do I have? Young Richard, reaching awkwardly for a handkerchief in a back pocket. Others are quiet, someone sniffs back a tear or two. I remember my Grandpa Albert, Albert's funeral 53 years ago. I can hardly believe it. 53 years. Where did it all go? Where do we go? Sister Margaret thinks to herself. The expression of her face is a little puzzled, looking obliquely down. Where do we go? Where is heaven? Will we see her, Maribel? Andy is listening to the service. When he shaved this morning, he missed some on his neck. Ruddy face, moist eyes, two tears have fallen. He rubs his eyes with, his, with the back of his hand. He didn't know her much, but his own heart bypass has made him aware of death and life. The sun streams in through two windows, lighting up white hair and gray hair and auburn and dark hair giving them a silver or copper sheen. The rafters in the sanctuary so old, their faded designs, how many services have they seen? Tilly, old Tilly, 93 years old. She remembers the service for Maribel's mother. When was it? Was it 1938 or 1948? I don't remember. I need to pee. Did I leave the apples cooking on the stove? Her face twitches slightly on the left side. <clears throat> the Tuckers brought their children, little Teddy, age three, fidgets. Marion, six, can think about it, but wishes she'd finished her sandwich at lunch. Rob is nine and sits quietly, looking around at the people as well as he can. They're all so old. He doesn't see any other kids. The preacher is talking about death. <clears throat> Rob wonders what it's like to be dead. Does Mrs. Wilson, the lady that service is for, hear the preacher? Do you know anything when you're dead or in heaven? He remembers his grandpa Struthers, his mom's dad. He died last year sometime. He remembers the service, watching his parents cry, especially his mother, even though she always said a lot of mad things about her dad. Terry, Wears her dark green suit with a soft brown blouse. Her husband looks so different with his glasses off. He took them off to wipe the tears. Maddie always secretly took her shoes off in church, but now she leaves them on. She nibbles a little on the corner of her lower lip and puts her finger to her chin. She is listening intently, her eyes glistening. Row upon row, lost in thought, Blue eyes lost in time, brown eyes lost in sorrow, yet at home in sorrow, dark hair, white hair, earrings, plump hands, lean wrinkled hands, white hair and gray hair throughout the sanctuary. <clears throat> at home with sorrow, because at their age there is no choice, a time to recognize, to validate sorrow. Sorrow is the emotion that takes soundings to determine the water's depth, the depth of life, the depth of memory and loss, the depth of mortality, looking back, looking ahead, toward the shore and toward the sea. December 1989.